what is Cyber Essentials and how does that differ from a penetration test? So they are very similar. Cyber Essentials is the National Cybersecurity Center's sort of um, audit framework for organizations to get some kind of um, cybersecurity um, certification. Uh, it's predominantly here in the UK, but there's lots of different versions uh, of Cyber Essentials all over the world. Australia has the Essential 8, so different countries will have uh, their own sort of version of this. Um, but the reason that we are um, a big fan of it, not only, not just because we're part of the National Cyber Security Centre, uh, the NCSC for Startups Alumni, uh, we actually think it's a really good audit for the money. So uh, Cyber Essentials Assessment will kind of do external IP addresses, no vulnerabilities, no nasties open there. It will take across sections of machines, so your internal uh, device uh, security, so you can just understand really what your posture looks like, the configuration of those machines and vulnerabilities. It will also take in things like multi-factor authentication as well and just put them into a sort of central audit and you do either pass or you fail. Um, but the reason that we're such a fan of it, it's probably anywhere in between a thousand and two thousand pounds apologies people might need to fact check me on the price um it's but it's it's just cheap to do the cyber essentials plus which is the full audited version there is a cheaper cyber essentials which is more like a self-assessment uh, which is still very good if you've not got um uh, that much money at all it at least sort of runs you and your team through the basics but kind of what the cyber essentials plus which is the full audit really mimics is to be honest, probably a big chunk of an internal and external penetration test. So an external penetration test being just your websites or IP addresses. I mean, they can range from anywhere between a thousand pound at the cheapest, but more like three, four, five thousand pounds, something like that. Whereas a full internal and external penetration test, you're getting into maybe 10, 20,000 pounds, depending on the organization and depending on the scope. So don't get me wrong. If you have a specific requirement, a specific regulatory requirement, if you host your own software, if you've built your own software, your own, your own SaaS, your own, your own SaaS pl uh, pl platform or something like that, you need to get a tailored, dedicated penetration test. But if you are literally just looking to ensure that you and your team now can understand what your cybersecurity posture is, get some kind of certification for your clients to show your clients that cybersecurity means a lot to you. And also, I think, just create that yardstick for yourself and your team to make sure, well, if we do that, will we pass Cyber Essentials? If we do this, will, will we pass Cyber Essentials when it comes up again? So it really just gets, I think, your mindset organised around what we think those core security principles um, should be. Um, and that should definitely be your starting point. And it's quite uh, effective from a, a cost perspective. So what RoboShadow does is pretty much a lot of what Cyber Essentials is, but it allows you to do it on a daily basis. So um, people will use the reports um, and data that comes out of Cyber Essentials to kind of pre-test, uh, sorry, RoboShadow, uh, to kind of pre-test themselves against Cyber Essentials. So um, more on that, depending on what time um, uh, or when, what date you watch this video, more on that will uh, come out as we're actually doing some work in that area at the moment. Um, but we just really wanted to highlight the differences between Cyber Essentials and a penetration test for people. If you can afford a penetration test and you know you need one for a certain kind of scope, it's um, we've done other videos on this. It's an adversarial process by a human being consultancy team that should be looking at and trying to mimic what the hacker's going to do. And they do get quite expensive. If you've done nothing at all and you're just on the journey of trying to get better from a cybersecurity perspective in, in, in general, then I would definitely recommend the Cyber Essentials process. Start there and your Cyber Essentials Plus as, uh, assessor, you can ask them, do you think this is enough or is there anything else that you feel that you would want to add from a scoping perspective? Anything else that you feel that we need to get a full penetration test done? But as always, feel free to come back to us in the comments or drop us an email. Uh, we're happy to answer any of these questions as part of the RoboShadow team.